film. In 1959, when this film was released, the Holocaust was a subject that Hollywood did not want to deal with. And as you know, at that time, most of the moguls were Jewish, and most of the Jewish moguls did not want movies to deal with Jewish subjects. There was only one film before this that in any real way dealt with images from the Holocaust, and that was a movie called The Young Lions. Does anybody remember that with Marlon Brando? There was only one scene set in a concentration camp, and the film was obviously very nervous about that scene. You could just feel the anxiety of the filmmakers, and they get in and out of that concentration camp as quickly as possible. It was a forbidden, taboo subject at the time. George Stevens, not a Jewish filmmaker, decided that he wanted to make this film when all the Jewish filmmakers in town stayed away from it. He wanted to make it because during the war, he had been serving the armed forces with a film unit, and his film unit shot D-Day and the, the liberation of the Dachau concentration camp. His film unit shot the only color footage of concentration camps, and that footage was used in the Nuremberg trials. After he came back from the war, um, he was a different man. He started his career making films with Laurel and Hardy. He ended his career making The Diary of Anne Frank and The Greatest Story Ever Told. So he, had, he was a transformed personality, and his wife, who's still alive at 106, said that after George returned from the war, he was different. I picked him up at the airport when he was taking a sabbatical from the war, and he asked me to stop.